Okay guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look and doing a review on the SE4. Now, this guy I've had for a little while now, of course, and I thought it'd be about time to do a review on the SE4. So, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon and the Instagram. Your support helps us a ton. So, let's jump right into it. Okay, so like I said, this is the SC4, and I think this knife might have gotten or caught in some people off guard because initially uh, when I got this blade, I didn't really like it. And I think that uh, I would say that this is a blade that I don't dislike, but that I think there are better options out there. Like if, like if the only knife SC made was the SC4, I would think this is a pretty solid knife. And don't get me wrong, I think it is a pretty overall well-built and well-made knife. But being that there are so many SC models out there and moreover that I own so many SCs, uh, I just think that there are better blades in their selection that are more apt for uh, my tasks and my desires. Once again, knives like the SC6 and the SC3, I think are just better blades uh, than the SC4. It's primarily because knives like the SC3 are super thin and while it's just an inch smaller than the SC4, it is a very slicey, very thin, and very easy to carry, almost neck knife-like blade. And is still, of course, very tough with its differential heat treat, its Rowan differential heat treat and of course stepping it up to the SC6 you have a blade that is the same thickness as the SC4 but of course two inches blade length more and a different handle profile and of course longer handle and overall I think it probably the most well-rounded of all SCs being the SC6 and so if I really did uh, want a blade or need a blade that was going to be a really good general purpose knife the SC6 is probably where I'm putting my money that being said, like I've said in other videos, the SC4 is kind of like the unofficial blade of Sear School. So this knife does have some merit to it. It is not all bad. It is a pretty solid blade. And uh, I think what a lot of people see in the SC4, and once again, this is just my perspective of what other people's perspective is. So it's not me, you know, quoting truth or fact here. But uh, I think that a lot of people like the fact that it's a very durable, very robust blade that's reasonably compact. I mean, I think it is pretty tough to beat this blade. It's it comes in you know well under 10 inches i think it's about overall length is about like nine inches so you have a reasonably compact blade that you can easily throw in a backpack day pack satchel whatever you're using to carry anything you could even throw it on yourself you know of course with SC's sheath designs you can easily make this like a scout style blade or you know a traditional you know belt knife uh, type blade so it can fit into a multitude of different roles and like I said being that it is that sub 10 inch range it makes its carryability really high but yet it still is a thicker blade once again being closer to 3 16ths of an inch thick I think it's uh, right around 5 30 seconds I think a little bit more than 5 30 seconds but right around uh, 5 30 seconds of an inch thick which is a very good thickness it makes any type of fixed blade very stout and robust but at the same time too not uh, turning it into a sharpened pry bar. So of course this does take it up a notch in quality. So overall it is a pretty fantastic blade for those uh, kind of options or with that in consideration. So what do I think of the SC4? It is definitely starting to grow on me a little bit more. I actually am starting to enjoy the SC4 a little more than I have in the past. And I think it is a pretty solid blade. Like I said, I've tried to come from the user standpoint that there are many people that do like this knife. It is an iconic knife and it definitely helped put SC on the map as far as SC knives go. So I do think that there is a lot of merit to this blade. And of course, this is one of the blades that you can get in CPM S35 VN. So that if you do choose the stainless, it adds an extra level of uh, an extra pro or an extra kind of usability standpoint with this blade. You can use it in more um, wet environments if that is something that you need. So overall, the SC4 I think is a pretty fantastic tool. Uh, it's definitely not my flavor. Like I said, if I had to choose from the SC lineup, I'd probably end up going with the SC3 or the SC6, but I do have the SC4 uh, for a reason. And I think that it is in comparison to other knives in the price range and size range of this blade, it definitely stands out on its own and definitely has a lot of good characteristics. Now, lastly, like I've said with other SC knives, 
series like the three and the six and the hoongless and all the others um, out, out of box this blade will not strike a ferro rod off the back of it due to its kind of coating so you will have to sharpen it but if you do sharpen it uh, or sharpen the spine down you know take off the coating you can make it strike ferro rods just fine once again that is usually something i do with most of my scs just to add that extra layer of survivability function because i think most of these knives are designed for survival purposes so they should be able to strike ferro rods in my opinion on the SC4 is a pretty fantastic blade and if you are thinking about it I would recommend it uh, if with considering the fact that it is going to be a smaller blade uh, do keep in mind I would probably recommend the SC6 over the SC4 but it's not a bad blade option itself okay guys as always God bless and I'm out